We're in Stevensville today and we're celebrating the groundbreaking of Dogwood Acres Pet Retreat. It's a new business in Queens County that's going to be there for all of your pet care needs. We're going to show you the highlights. We all love our furry friends and pets. I know I have two pets and we've adopted both of them from one of the shelters here locally and uh, they bring all of us great joy and I know that we want to treat them as our family and our children and what a better place than Dogwood Acres. I was sharing with them earlier, um, my husband and I, we sponsored midshipmen for years and one of our mids is stationed in Annapolis and he has a, a dog and he actually takes his dog to Dogwood Acres. So I've actually been following them on Facebook probably, probably longer than, um, than they realize, but I've been following them just so I can see his little pup plan and making sure that he's being cared for. And if you haven't, I would encourage you to like them on Facebook because um, the fun that these animals have is just amazing. So anyway, I'd like to congratulate uh, Kurt and Andrea for their uh, accomplishment here. And at this time, I'd like to invite Jim Moran up to say a few words. Uh, this is a project i got to give credit to a lot of different people uh, for pulling this uh, together. First and foremost, the owners of Dogwood Acres. A uh, little story behind this. My daughter has a dog. She lives in Crofton. She brought it to Dogwood Acres, and apparently her dog is not that well disciplined and was banned from Dogwood Acres. So, so, but that, did, that, did, that, that never entered into our decisions with Dogwood Acres. So, so just goes to show you her dog, and she's going to kill me when she sees this because she works at Queen of Town. So anyway, so with that being said, this, this is a project that came together, and, and I'm going to give credit where credit is due, first and foremost, to Barry Waterman. He's found this piece of property here in this business park that we thought – as, a, as the county went, that it just wasn't a usable piece of property. And he said, oh, yeah, if we move this, we move that, we acquire this and, you know, do our what we have to do inside of the county, we can make it work. And it did. So it, this is a, a, a huge benefit to Queen Anne's County. It's like, I don't want to use the term law, found money, but it, it, it's, it's found property that we were able to fit in here. This is a huge service for Queen Anne's County. This, if, if Queen Anne's County is anything, it's a pet-loving county. I mean, our pets here uh, run the day. So, you know, this is, this is a huge uh, enhancement for the county, and we are grateful for you for, for coming here and, and bringing your business here. And then I want to thank Mark Anderson sitting in the front row here because Mark was instrumental in making this all come together, and, and he, was, uh, he was very adamant about this. And Mark, you got three Dobermans, right? Four Dobermans, so and that explains that. So, you know, and, and, and I, I want to thank him for, for all the hard work he did, and again, for the patience that Dogwood Acres has shown to get this finally put together. Uh, we, we are looking forward to your, your opening day and the ribbon cutting. And You're giving me a microphone, it's very exciting. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi, Audrey, this is her. He's the quiet one, he'll just stand up here. Um, the, the first person I really wanted to um, um, to thank was Gary, but he's going to show up late, and then I'm going to make fun of him when he shows up late, and then I'll thank him, because um, he, this would absolutely not have happened um, with him. But before I get to um, our thank yous, I just want to share our story a little bit. Um, a lot of friendly faces, so a lot of you guys know this story all too well, more than you want to know, but we have a couple new faces, and I just sort of want to share um, what Dogwood Acres is, and, and uh, although it is continuing to change. We've been in business, um, we opened in 97, so we've been doing this um, for over 20 years. And um, at that time we were young and, you know, not so smart, and which turned out to be in our favor, and had a dream and, and just, just didn't see any good reason why it couldn't happen, and we had no idea what we were getting into. Um, turns out there's about 10,000 reasons not to do it, but, um, but we, uh, we succeeded and we love what we do. And... Um, <laughs> but also another person that I met right away in this process was Mr. Anderson. We met with him when it was just sort of an idea to see if it would even float. And after we met with him and he was like, we're going to do this, I was like, okay, we're going to do this. It was like, it felt really good. And I, I can't even fully appreciate all the talks and everything that you had to do to uh, get everybody on board, including... Um, some uh, of the pet businesses already over here. I uh, wanted to make sure that they were okay with it, and I'm looking forward to working with all of them over here as well and just growing the businesses of all of us. 
Um, but I, yeah, so I really do appreciate you just deciding this was going to happen. Um, and, and here we are. So I do want to appreciate that. But also, um, all the work that happened that I can't even fully appreciate, except that I appreciate the result, um, all the county commissioners, they've really recognized an opportunity here. I feel like Queen Anne's County completely just opened their doors to us and have done whatever they could to help us um, to help this happen. And it's been a really refreshing change from the other side over there. Um, <laughs> Uh, so we just feel very, very welcome and already part of the community, and that's how we want to do business, and so it feels really good to us, and we can't wait to, to give back to this community. We do, a lot, um, we do a lot to give back, and we can't wait to sort of be, be a greater part of this community and the people that are here.